Good evening. Thank you for joining us. Plans are now in place to pay final respects to three family members whose lives were cut short last week. Yeah, investigators say they are victims of a tragic case of domestic violence. Mark and Nancy Burgum and their daughter-in-law, Mary Beth, were all killed last week. Police say Nancy's husband, Eric, killed them, then took his own life. Michael Schwartz reports on the memories friends of these three victims are sharing tonight. If there's one thing to remember about Mary Beth Burgum. Loved to be with her kids. They were her biggest joy. And spending time with them was her most favorite thing to do. Amy and Matt Dawson were good friends with Mary Beth. Their children close as well. Never seen her raise her voice. Just was like, just a... Fun-loving, uh, happy. Fun happy person. Just yeah. wanted to be with her kids and be with other people, be outside. The 37-year-old devoted mother of four was also a hard-working nurse at Niagara Falls Memorial Medical Center. The hospital's president and CEO sent me a statement that said in part, Mary Beth was part of our family, a valued employee, co-worker, and friend. Our hearts are heavy, and our prayers are with her family, friends, and especially her four children. She also made an impact on her teammates as an athlete. Any sports equipment she would grab and dominate. She played Gaelic football with the Buffalo Fenians, a teammate saying she spoke about her children all the time at practice, adding, Mary was not only our teammate, but also a true friend. We are thankful for every moment we all share together. In addition to her four children, Mary Beth, or Mo as some called her, is survived by her father, stepmother, grandparents, and two siblings. Her mother-in-law, 64-year-old Nancy Burgum, owned Tape Group USA, a longtime adhesive tape company in Clarence Center. Her father-in-law, 66-year-old Mark Burgum, was a retired engineer. Services for Mary Beth, her in-laws, and husband Eric Burgum will all be held on Tuesday at Eastern Hills Wesleyan Church, with another service to follow for Mary Beth in her home state of Maryland. In the meantime, Mary Beth's church tells me three separate funds have raised more than $111,000 for the four children now without parents. They're surrounded by lots of people that love them. Michael Schwartz, 7 News. Mary Beth Burgum was also a nurse at Brothers of Mercy Nursing and Rehabilitation for several years. They will hold a vigil in her honor and memory on October 25th.